Blake Elliott. Nice to see you. Boy, I'll tell you something, Dave. I'm just kicking myself. Why is that, Paul? Dave. About six months ago, a guy called me from Hollywood, and he says, we, we'd like to give you 5% of the merchandising of Batman. And I said, I, I don't have time for that stuff. Wait, wait, just a minute. And out of the blue, I'm, out of the blue, a guy calls yeah. up and says, how would you like to have 5% of the money? 5% of the money? And I said, I can't really keep track of it. I think I'd better pass it. Right. Now I'm just kicking myself. But that's just, Paul, that's like a miracle, because did you have anything to do with the film? No, sir. No, so this would have been free money, it right? It would have been, yeah. Out of the blue, a guy calls. A guy called me up. And you turn him down? I turn him down. I just, oh. at the time, I was so busy, you know, and I had a, a jingled session in the morning. And oh, I, Paul. I couldn't. Paul, Paul, there's a, there's a word for guys like you. What is that? Bonehead. Ah. I know. I'm just uh, sick about it. What are we doing? Oh, do we have the thing? Where's the device? We got a great show. We got to get rolling here. Let's just do this real quick, and then we'll see if it works. All right, boys, start the music. It's the crash cam. Be careful. You could break something. Uh, oh, tonight is uh, supermarket fines. Is that right? Excuse me? I'm supermarket fines. Trouble with my hearing. Super I've got to stick with fines. acoustic guitar look, from now Paul, on. Oh, look. We have, we have a, a passel of, of supermarket fines here. Oh, it's I supermarket. Say... And you know something? I have a very special treat for everyone tonight. Let me move over to this microphone and continue. A good friend of ours has dropped by to sing the haunting and beautiful... Love theme from Supermarket Finds. <laughs> this man is, is going to be performing uh, at the Meadowlands tomorrow night. Let's have a big Supermarket Finds welcome for Mr. Jerry Vale. Jerry Vale. likes to call them supermarket finds. He found one day while he was shopping. We love them so. Deva della cose che lui chiami cibi bufi che a un giorno ho trovato ci appiaccino we love them so thank you very veiled The haunting and beautiful love theme from Supermarket Fun. Was, wasn't it? It certainly was. Jesus. All right, now pay attention. Yes, I'm sorry. Oh, I was excited. I know you were excited, but... Where do you see this? You think you're excited now. Here we have a, uh, a uh, bag of Kraft Jet Puffed Marshmallows. Hey, these are actual items found in actual supermarkets. They're down there. Can you see that little slogan there? It says, the official... Marshmallow of the Starship Enterprise. Okay. I thought that was William Shatner. Okay, <laughs> uh, here we have this is SNW sauerkraut juice. That's right. Perfect for those hot summer days when you've been. Been out of the yard working up a big German thirst. <laughs> a big German thirst. A big German thirst. Item number three. Heinz uh, distilled white vinegar. The little sign there on the label. 
not made from petroleum. <laughs> Thank God, so if a Heinz vinegar tanker hits a reef, we don't have to worry. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What number, Paul? Are you keeping a track? Yeah, and, uh, number six. Uh, I'm no, looking number for number four. four. Number four. All right. Here it is, number four, right here. Uh, milk carton, a warning. Unauthorized use of milk cases is against the law and punishable by fine or imprisonment. And there's a milk uh, case right there. There's a milk case right there. Am, am I taking some kind of prescription drug that's just thrown me completely off tonight? No, no, we're all a little... Everything's okay? We're a little excited. Everything's fine. Though. Okay. Yeah. All right. Now which one? Number five. five. All right. <laughs> Getting testy in the control room. Here we have a container of the original Never Dull. I tell you what, Morty, maybe somebody should take this backstage and rub it all over George Miller. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay, here we have a container of uh, Eat Me Dates. <laughs> Eat Me Dates. The official sponsor of the Rob Lowe video, Eat Me Dates. Eat Me Eat me dates. Not, that's what I call a supermarket fun. Yeah, yeah. I remember my first eat me date. Man. <laughs> Gosh, I enjoyed it. Yes. That's right. Eat me dates. Ask for them by name. You can't go wrong. Ah, my very first eat me date. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, miniature golf, had Dad's car, and then... All right. There. Uh, Jean-Louis anchovy paste. Uh, oh, let me open it up. Here's what you can do with this. It's the Jean-Louis anchovy paste. Open this up, uh, put it by the bathroom sink near the toothbrushes, <laughs> and then watch the fun begin. Paul, do you have anything here for the anchovy paste? Yeah, I got something. Like okay. Yeah. Anchovy paste spread on eat me dates The flavor of fish in every dish Comes in a tube, what a real groove Look out now, enough salt to stop your heart There ain't nothing in the world like a big eye girl Okay. How are we doing on time? We're right on time. We're right on time. After all of that, once again, we're right on time. By the way, did, did I get a chance to uh, show you these? The Eat Me Dates? Look, eat Me Dates right there. Uh, on the program tonight, George Miller is here, Pete Townsend is here, and Tim Hutton. I, I don't think you can get a better show than that. We'll be right back. Martin will be here, Jackson Brown will be on the program, and uh, Phil Corrington from the Chicago Field Museum of Natural History. Great. So tonight, Pete Townsend, tomorrow, yeah. Jackson Brown. That's right. He doesn't get any better than this, does No, it? sir. Uh, and then uh, George Miller a, a little bit later, and I'm thinking right after the show, Paul, I maybe will have an eat-me date. <laughs> the more I think about it, I think that would really hit the spot. I think so, too. Get me one of those eat-me dates. I can continue saying this, right, Morty? I can say, eat me date all night long, can't I? 
Huh? As much as you're comfortable because saying Because it's it. an actual product, isn't it? The Eat Me Date. Bring me, Al, bring me the Eat Me Dates. <laughs> <laughs> Al Mar calling me chief. Suddenly I'm Perry White. <laughs> We'll just show you that I can continue to say, eat me dates all night long. Thank you very much, Al. Take the rest of the night off. <laughs> Look, after the show, I'll be having an eat me date. <laughs> and perhaps I'll enjoy some fruit. But you know, seriously, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Uh, from the home office in Oklahoma City, tonight's uh, top ten category... That was sort of, kind of like we're tired of it, applause. <laughs> Top ten New York City haircuts. Ah. I guess you should go through the streets of New York. Oh, I, I don't care anymore. I'm just looking forward to my after show eat me date. <laughs> That's all I care about now. I don't blame you. <laughs> Top ten New York City haircuts. Yeah, that'll be great. <laughs> well, no, do your little thing. Well, I suppose that as one wanders through the streets of New York, uptown, downtown, east side, west side, you come across a number of different crazy kind of quaffs. Some you like, some you don't like. Uh -huh. These, I suppose, would be the top ten <laughs> nutty haircuts that you see. In nice New job, York. Ed. Thank you very much. <laughs> 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 My God, Santa, Santa is here. Uh, here we have the top ten New York City haircuts. Number ten, Old Faithful. Number nine, Electrocuted Squirrel. Number eight, Tribute to Paul Simon. Number seven, number seven, number seven, The Eclipse. Number six, number six, The Whoopee. Number five. Nearly paid for. <laughs> number four. Number four. Guggen hair. Uh, number three. The lint trap. Thank you. Number two. We remember Lucy. Number one. The number one New York City haircut. My folks are so proud. <laughs> back folks with Pete Townsend come on back